New research shows that ChatGPT increases productivity 40%, improves the quality of output 18%, and actually closes the gap between the most skilled and the least skilled workers. Unfortunately, many people don't have access to this world-changing technology. If you live in a country that's currently blocking ChatGPT, or maybe it's a workplace or a school that doesn't allow you to use it, or if you want ChatGPT4 and you just don't want to pay, this is the video for you. We're going to show you how to access ChatGPT4 and other key AI tools, regardless of where you live, regardless of your workplace or school policies. I'm Scott Meyer. Welcome to 5-Minute AI, where we help you work smart and live well with just a little bit of AI. Today, we're going to look at how to access ChatGPT and alternatives. First, we're going to look at Microsoft Edge and how you can access ChatGPT4 without paying. Second, we'll look at ways to access ChatGPT without going to the OpenAI website. We'll look at Poe, which will allow you to use ChatGPT as long, along with other chat agents. We'll also look at Merlin, a great tool that brings ChatGPT into your search experience and browsing around the web. So let's jump right into it and head over to the computer. There have always been protests against new technology, whether it's teachers fighting against calculators or workplaces, countries, or schools blocking ChatGPT. As Ethan Mollick reminds us, 169 countries in the world now have free access to the greatest AI tool that's ever been made. To get access to what Ethan Mollick's talking about, you will want to download the Microsoft Edge browser. So this is the browser created by Microsoft that has Bing Chat built in. Now, once you have uh, Microsoft Edge, like I have here, you're going to look for something called Bing Chat. So this is where it has ChatGPT built right into the browser. The way you get to it is on the top right, this little chat button with the B. And here you can see it pops open. I can tell it how I want to converse. If I log in, it'll keep my history and I can start asking questions. Now, one thing that Bing Chat allows you to do is actually upload photos and show images and talk about those. So you can upload a picture of something you don't know what it is and start getting information about it. This is a great way to access GPT-4 for free, right? You don't have to pay. You get the most advanced tool um, without having any monthly costs. And this is going to work in a lot more countries than ChatGPT and most likely a lot of workplaces and schools that don't allow ChatGPT for. Now, a second way to access ChatGPT as well as other chat agents is with a tool called Poe, P-O-E. Now, Poe allows you to choose which assistant you're going to use. So you can see here on the left-hand side, we could choose GPT-4, we could choose Claude, we could scroll down and try Llama. This is a great way to test the difference in responses from different assistants. You can even create your own bot where you start to give your own details about yourself and personality so that the chat responds to you every time. So Poe's gonna be a great way that you can create an account and log in for free and start to use different tools and immediately start having a conversation right here in Poe. Another great tool is one called Merlin. Merlin is a Chrome extension. So if you're using a Chrome browser, you can use this. And what it does is it brings ChatGPT across the web. So as you start browsing, you can use ChatGPT for whatever you're looking at. I might just go to Google and search Fargo, North Dakota, one of the best cities in the world. And as you can see, we have the usual results, but we have Merlin right here that pops up and gives me a summary of whatever I'm searching for. So what's different from this versus what you see from Google is Google's taking a selection from a page that it crawls, whereas Merlin's looking at all the results, summarizing and giving it back to you. Now, what I can do with Merlin is click Let's Chat and start to have a conversation right here about the thing that I'm looking at. So I might say like, what's a good itinerary? for visiting Fargo, and here it'll uh, start giving me suggestions, just like ChatGPT would. Now, what's powerful about Merlin is you can also access the web, so I can get real-time data. So ChatGPT only uh, has information through the end of 2021. I can turn on uh, Merlin's access web to get real-time information, and then I can even choose which model to use. So I could use GPT-4 or Llama. Again, this is free for up to 51 queries, and then you have to pay. So Merlin is a great way to improve your searches, get information faster. It also allows you to do doc chat where you can upload a PDF or document and ask for information about it. So this is a really powerful way to use ChatGPT, not necessarily for browsing or asking questions, but for going through documents. Between Bing Chat, Poe, Merlin, you have numerous ways to access ChatGPT and similar assistance, no matter where you live, no matter where you work, no matter where you study. This is revolutionary technology that's making people more productive, improve their output, and closing the gap between the highest performers and those who have a lot to learn. And so I think it's essential that businesses start to integrate ChatGPT or similar assistance into their workflow. And hopefully this video will help you start doing that no matter where you are. Now leave us a comment in the YouTube video for other tools that might help people regardless of where they live or work. We'll see you next time at 5-Minute AI.